Zionists is different from the other existing organizations in the Jewish progressive and feminist space because we exist, frankly, as a reaction. Uh, we don't exist to build the relationship between the diaspora Jewish community and Israel. We don't exist to respond to any criticism of Israel. We don't exist to um, to support Israel, frankly, in terms of policy or politics beyond believing that Israel has a right to exist in safety and security as the Jewish state for the Jewish people. Uh, we are not you know, working on pro-Israel advocacy, again, beyond our belief that Israel has a right to exist. And so what we established, what we launched to do to accomplish is to bring Jews and Zionists back into the progressive space in America. And certainly there will be instances where we will take a position on a foreign policy issue, but right now our focus is on social justice issues in America and on frankly rebuilding the left in America which is in dire straits in a very challenging time for a lot of people um, like me and, you know, a lot of people in the Jewish community who um, have been really afraid and really disgusted by some of the rhetoric coming from the highest levels of the American government and, and a large portion of the American electorate. So we are responding to the alienation of the Jewish and Zionist communities from the left. We are responding to the hate and the vitriol against people like us and to the false narrative and the false choice that you have to be either a progressive or a Zionist. And so we're here responding directly to that suggestion and saying we are both and we are not going away. The reason why we established a new movement instead of working within the existing Jewish community, which is large and diverse and strong and, and full of amazing progressive feminist Zionist Jewish women is because, to be frank, we didn't feel like any of the existing organizations were directly addressing the problem, which is that Jews and Zionists have been told that we cannot be feminists and that we cannot participate in progressive movements. And while I certainly understand, you know, coming from within the Jewish world, how challenging it can be institutionally to go up against this mainstream narrative that has really taken root in such a pervasive and, and frankly horrifying way, it felt like it was really necessary to start something new that just directly tackled this problem. And the response has just been so overwhelming. All of these people who say, I'm active in so many wonderful groups, but they're not showing up as proud Zionists and, and they're not um, directly challenging the suggestion that I don't belong because I'm a Zionist. And they're not necessarily even working to reclaim or to address the idea of what Zionism is and what it means and how it has nothing to do with a conflict or an occupation or, you know, any of the challenging policy and political issues that are surrounding the state of Israel. So, we really felt that it was necessary to start something new that was so um, narrowly focused that would would challenge the division, not only in the Jewish community on this issue, but on the left more broadly on this issue, and to stand up for ourselves and say, we belong here and we will continue to fight for what we believe is right, but we will not check our identities at the door because no one else is asked to do that. So we're not gonna do it either.